How's it going guys? Welcome back to my Skyrim Anniversary Edition Let's Play where I try to get every single skill to level 100 one skill at a time. We are getting pretty damn close to maxing everything out. I think we're about a little bit past halfway now. Now I'm going to continue with the trend of getting my magic skills leveled up. Today we're going to do another easy one which is Conjuration. Now Conjuration is very easy and I'm going to show you two methods of leveling it, leveling it up. One of them you may say is a little bit exploitative and another one is not exploity at all. So I'll be showing you guys two methods. What, um, the first one you probably already know about but quickly we're gonna go to Dragon's Reach and talk to Farngar because there's two spells that I, I need to get that will uh, make this whole thing possible. So let's go talk to my favorite court mage. The spells I want to get is Bound Sword, Conjure Familiar, Conjure Flame Atronach, and Soul Trap. The, that should be able to get me everything I need. So let's quickly read all of these books. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Now quickly, I need to check to make sure that I actually have the um, Fortify Conjuration uh, enchantment. I do not have Fortify Conjuration. So what I need to do before we do anything is I need to get a set of armor that has Fortify Conjuration to make Conjuration cost zero to cast. Um, so this is going to be a little bit grindy, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to Adrian. I'm going to check her inventory to see if she has any items that have a um, enchantment on it that reduces Conjuration. And if she does have it, I'll buy it and, you know, I'll buy it and I will disenchant it but quickly I need to make some armor to actually enchant and I'm gonna need some rings a ring and a necklace so does she have any silver or gold she doesn't have silver or gold but she has iron which is pretty much good enough because I can use transmute to turn that iron into silver the silver into gold so let's just do this really quick turn all of that into gold um see i think that's all of it done just give it a sec okay just smoke that gourd i shouldn't i should have yeah two that's all i need two gourd ingots can make me um one gourd necklace and two gourd rings okay so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait 48 hours to reset her inventory and i'm just gonna keep checking to see if she has anything that reduces conjuration and when i finally get something that reduces conjuration i'll buy it and disenchant it I just realized, actually, that I don't have that much money, so I am gonna sell her some of my old equipment that I'm not using anymore, just to make a little bit of money so that if she does actually have it, I will be able to buy it, because I currently do not have the funds to buy pretty much anything. So, hello, Adrian. Anything? Ooh, insulated gauntlets, smithing, deft hands. Yeah, like I said, this is gonna take a second, but let me just, uh... I don't need that helmet anymore, I already... Oh, wait, no, I don't have restoration at max yet. Okay, so I probably shouldn't have sword that. Let me just uh, reload that save. Okay, okay, let's just keep going. I'll get back to you guys in a sec. Okay, finally, Iron Helmet of Conjuring. And thankfully, it's fairly cheap. Now, this took me an incredibly long time. I think I saw her have, like, almost every enchantment. Like, she had Fire Suppression, Frost Suppression, One-Handed um, Increase, Two-Handed Increase, Smithing, Alchemy. Fucking, she had, like, a million Illusion things. Some Restoration, some Destruction. Like, that took me so long, bro. Swear to God. Now, I don't have any Grand Sword Gems. So, I am going to have to buy four, which is 4,000 bucks that I do not have. Shit. Shit. Oh, I, I always forget how expensive these things get. Um, Bond of Matrimony. How do I not have that enchantment yet? Okay. Um, okay, you know what? 50% might be good enough for now. So let's just get the ring. Uh, Conjuration. And let's also give it Restoration. Because I need a Restoration ring. Let's get, um, let's see. Conjuration. Uh, Restoration. And let's put that on the necklace. And that should be my conjuration ring and necklace. Uh, let's see. Boom. And boom. So that's 50% cheaper, which is pretty good, I guess. And it's not satisfactory enough, so I am gonna have to make 2,000 bucks somehow. And I don't actually know a fantastic way of doing that easily. So I might just go like... <laughs> I don't want to go dungeon crawling because that's going to take so long. Am I in the Thieves Guild? Because the Thieves Guild quests do give good money. 
I am I am apparently in the thieves guild, so I guess I've done. I guess I had this same idea before. Clearly, my uh, my brain works the same as it did all these months ago. But hey, that might not be a bad thing. So let's go do a few of these quests. I think one of them gives 500. So I, I just gotta do four of these quests. Should be very quick. All right, delve in. I'm looking for some work. Uh, give me a bedlam job. I'll take it. And vex. I'm looking for extra work. Mm, burglary? I think burglary is fine. Right, so we gotta steal 500 bucks worth of goods in Riften. And for Vex's quest, we have to... We have to get some Jeweled Goblet from Marker. So the, the, the Bedlam jobs are good, because stealing for 500 bucks of items, you get to keep, and you get to sell them. So Bedlam jobs are pretty good. The issue is, Riften is a pretty broke city, so I'm gonna be struggling a bit. Either way, I'm just gonna edit all of these quests out, because they're pretty tedious. Oh wait, look at that. There's just a dragon scale armor at Grelka's stand. Did I get caught taking that? I don't think I did. Yeah, Grelka's stand always has shits of immense value, so that's a bit of a, a little cheat code if you want a shit ton of money. Just uh, rob Grelka. Alright, I think it is 500 bucks, right, that you get? Yeah, 500. Okay, nice. And then that's another 500. And I think selling all of that stolen shit to Tanelia. That should be like a few, a few thousand, yeah, that's 600, um, plus that, plus this and this. Okay, I gotta refresh your inventory, so let's just boom, boom, and boom, boom, and I should have enough. Right, Farngar, give me two of your finest grand sword gems. Okay, wow. He never has the exact amount I need, does he? Right, now let's enchant that leather helmet. And the leather armor, so that, let's put this with Conjuration and Restoration, that should be good. Boom, Grand Sword Gem, Restoration, Conjuration, and the leather armor, there we go. Now, let's equip that. I'm probably gonna look pretty goofy with my mix match outfit. Yeah, pretty dang goofy. Right, so as I was saying in the intro, I have two methods. Well, technically three, but... Two of them share the same principle. So we're gonna go to Secunda's Kiss, which is a giant camp that is amazing for, for taking advantage of AI. So let's just wait for it to be day. Also, by the way, make sure you go get the Mage Stone. I already have the Mage Stone, so I, I didn't need to get it for this video, but I are so, but uh, yeah, make sure you do get it. Right, so the first strategy, this is not nearly as exploity. But what you do is you get into combat with the giant, you come onto this rock where he can't reach you, and you just cast Bound Sword over and over again. And then you sheath them, and then you pull them back out, and you cast it again, and then you sheath it. Is there a dragon? Did I just hear a dragon scream some dragon shout? Okay, well this is the principle, you just basically keep casting Bound Sword over and over again. Now, you don't have to have the armor that reduces the cost to zero to do this. You can do this with not having it, it's just gonna take a lot longer to do it. Now, alternatively, you could cast uh, the Flame Atronach over and over again, and then, you know, because you keep casting them, you know, when you cast one, it would die, and then you'd get a new one, it would die. I don't know which one is actually faster, honestly. I do know that doing this is incredibly loud, and I think it might be slightly slower. I haven't seen my level up come by. Yeah, I think the Flame Atronach one might be... I think it's, like, way slower, actually, yeah, like... It took me all of this just to get one level up, but if you do Bound Sword... It's quite a bit quicker than that. The dangerous thing about the Flame Atronach is you risk the Flame Atronach actually killing your giant and, um, you know, ruining the whole thing. But yeah, clearly Bound Sword is the quicker method. Now, I'm gonna show you the alternative method that is actually quite a bit better, in my opinion. Now, the alternative method is if you come to Riverwood, or it, it doesn't have to be Riverwood, it can be literally any location on the map, but I'm just using Riverwood as an example because I know how to do it best in this situation. If you come to Riverwood, there should be a mud crab at this creek, and if you kill it and make sure its body doesn't, you know, go down the river. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. If you find a dead body, you can just cast Store Trap on the body, and the game doesn't actually register that it is dead, so it still gives you the XP for casting Sword Trap. The benefit to this is one, it's a lot more peaceful, and two, 
If you don't have the OP armor that reduces the cost to zero, you can wait an hour to regen your Magicka because you're not in combat, so you can wait an hour to regen your Magicka however, however many times you want. So that this is this is the best method. However, I think if you have the unofficial patch, this does get patched out. So if you do have the unofficial patch, or if you just don't want to do exploits, the best method is just casting Bound Sword at the giant camp Secundus Kiss. Now, something you can do to take this a step further is getting the Well Rested bonus or the Lover's um, Comfort bonus, which will increase your uh, XP gain by 10% or 15% respectively, so. Yeah, but as you can see, I'm already at level, uh, I think it's 50, I'm at 54 already, and I've just barely been doing it, so. This is a very quick method to do it, so I'm just gonna keep doing this until I'm at level 100. Right, so the thing about this is I'm now at level 90, and as you can tell, it is dusk now, you know, pretty late, it's about 7 p.m. That's how long I've been doing this, and it does start to take a while to get each level up. Uh, again, it doesn't take that long because this is a very quick method. However, as you can see, as I'm talking, getting from 90 to 91 to 92, it does take a bit, especially if you have to wait an hour in between casts. This is a pretty slow, it's consistent. Like, if you just open up Netflix or YouTube on your second monitor, or you watch TikTok on your phone while you do this, you'll be, you'll be fine, but it does take a second. Okay, I'm at 99 now. I should roll over to 100 any second. Let's see. There we go. Conjuration 100. So hopefully those methods helped you guys out. However, that is not the whole thing. We are not quite done yet. Uh, the second half is I have to get every perk, obviously. That's kind of how I do this Let's Play. So let's just get all the Necromancy and uh, Atronach perks. Alright, let's get this one. Right, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I need six more perks. So if you guys are not familiar with my um, player level up method, what I do is I go to Whiterun and I have an apple at the Whiterun gate. So wait, before, before we continue... What you do is, yeah, you get telekinesis, you equip your armor that reduces alteration to zero. Then, what you do is you take alteration from level 100, bring it down to 15, pick up the apple, and while you're picking it up, fast travel to Mark Garth, and then your alteration will be at level 100, because the game thinks that you walked all the way to Mark Garth, even though you didn't. So it's now level 100. And you simply legendary it. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I get to level 135. And just grab the meat, take the meat, to white run, wash, rinse, repeat. Alright, so I'm level 135 now, so let me just get every perk in the alteration tree once again. I should probably stop doing it, because, like, I'm just gonna- I, I just know that I'm just gonna keep doing it, so, like, I should probably just stop reinvesting, because I already know that, like, I'm gonna end up spending the perks again, but whatever. Let's just, uh, get the last few perks in the conjuration tree, and get apprentice. Adept, Expert, and Master. That is Conjuration from 15 to 100 completely and utterly maxed out. Thank you guys so much for watching the whole video. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you guys do drop a like and a sub as always. Stay awesome and peace out.